Steps and proteins. And why are these so important on your weight loss journey? You don't need to scroll a lot through profiles of online coaches before you see the same things being repeated over and over again. Those things are steps and proteins. The reason for this is that when you start a weight loss journey, you need to make sure that you are taking the low hanging fruits before some of the much harder tasks that are out there. The biggest reason many people fail their diets or their new lifestyle change nowadays is because they want everything at once. You need to achieve the biggest changes by making the smallest changes yourself. Now, one of those smallest changes that gives the best results are to make sure that the food that you eat satiates you so much so that you don't have any space left for those treats that you would have normally eaten that causes you to eat too many calories or have energy crashes, etc., etc. And that is where protein comes in. Protein is the most satiating macronutrient. So thinking about carbs, fats, and protein, when you eat protein, you're gonna feel more full compared to when you eat carbohydrates or fat. Now, by saying this, I am not saying you should not eat fat or, pro or uh, carbohydrates at all. I'm just saying that if you wanna set yourself up with success with your meals, implementing a full serving of protein, either through lean meats or other vegan options, you will automatically feel fuller, faster, while eating your food. That right there is an easy change that you can make right now to your meals without having to count calories or doing all these other more advanced methods to control food intake. You can do this right now and it will give you results. You will also support your training much better as your body recovers much faster when it gets the proteins it needs for recovery. Secondly is steps. Steps, 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 steps. Steps is literally your shortcut to burning fat. Why is that? Because it is so easy for you to get out and walk. You can do it anywhere at any time. Going to the gym or any other activity, sports activity, takes much bigger effort and there's much more timing and scheduling that comes into this. You potentially have to do it with someone else, has to fit their schedule, blah, 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 blah. Steps, you can get out and you can do it right now. Everyone can do it. You can do it if you have an injury, unless you literally can't walk. <laughs> But steps is also a thing that adds to that calorie balance. While you're out walking, obviously you won't be eating calories. You will be burning calories. So the calorie equation of food going in and energy going out, you will be working on the energy going out, meaning that you will then put, potentially put yourself in a calorie deficit doing that. When I work with online clients, they often get back to me saying there are so many other benefits, two steps than just burning calories. They get time to reflect on their walks. Maybe they're listening to podcasts. They're creating that little moment when they are out walking by themselves where they are doing things that they typically would not have time for or an opportunity to do in their regular life. So what it's all about is this right here. You wanna get the biggest results making the smallest changes possible and by eating more protein and getting more daily steps every day, you will be burning more calories and you will be eating less food. And that right there is the easiest way you can make changes right now to your life that's gonna take you closer to your weight loss goals. And with this, I can refer back to my previous video when I talk about how to create consistency through a daily routine on how to get these done. So make sure to go back on my feed and check out my previous video. I hope this helps. Good luck.